I will not be addressing any sort of absence from YouTube. This is a painting channel now. The rumors are true. I am looking more and more like a swamp witch every day. But you have in fact read the title of this video correct. I did in fact paint legend, icon, superstar, and moment from Flavor of Love uh, season one and two, Miss New York Tiffany Pollard. Now I know a lot of people are gonna ask Megan, dear God, why can you please paint something with like a little substance? No, I will not. Also this has substance. She changed reality TV. She sprinted a full marathon so that women on The Bachelor can hobble after they've made all of two catty remarks, okay? She is the blueprint of the reality TV villain. Now, are there interpretations of Flavor of Love where she is both the villain and the hero? Yes, completely. The catalyst of this video, I think, was there's one thing about me is that I am a mess and I love reality TV. So I put my painting skills to work. Just like any good critique, I'm gonna start off talking about my materials. This is pretty much all in acrylic paint. Oil paint scares me, mostly the price tag. You know, one thing I'm really trying to improve just personally in my own art practice is portraiture. The only real problem, no, no, I can't a couple problems, but the biggest problem starting out was which meme do I do? There are so many good ones, so many iconic ones, but I went with my gut and I'm happy I did because recently I'm trying to do more dynamic poses because I feel like I'm very good at like frontal poses here actually this Trixie I painted her by the way she's an artist now I did do the sketch off camera because sketching on camera fills me with more anxiety than I usually feel on a normal day listen if you can sketch and you're happy the first time with it don't talk to me I can't relate to you anyway so here's the sketch um this sketch took me three tries so usually when I do portraits, I like to start with the background. I like to start with backgrounds because then I don't have to paint around them. And if I do some like really cool hair detail, I don't have to worry about messing it up. I start with the midtone, obviously. I am using this Artist Law Level 3 Professional Paint. You're going to see me um, talk about it a lot in this video. Michaels is always putting it on sale and I love that for me. Okay, starting with this purple midtone and then I mix the low light. Then I do the shadow and yellow complementary colors. Oh yeah, you guys should subscribe to my channel and like this video. Maybe I will be motivated enough to make another one because Lord knows that my brain is a horror dome of potential projects that will unleash chaos on the populace. Now for my core shadow, I actually used raw umber. You know, I think I figured out the problem with season two of Flavor of Love. Season two Flavor of Love is very much centered around Flavor Flav. In season one of Flavor of Love, it was very much centered around the girls. They were the stars. Flavor Flav was just kind of there. But in season two, they tried to make the main character Flavor Flav. Because we all know the real main character of Flavor of Love was New York. But season two is too centered around Flav. Like, there's so much drama. I'm not, like, as invested in it. Listen, I know we are all incredibly, incredibly invested in my season two rewatch. However, the more I watch this, is Flav the villain of Flavor of Love? Hear me out for a second, right? It's it's a good thing to try to find love. He has like this tendency to kind of rip on girls and make them feel a little embarrassed, like put them on blast. And here's the thing, like a few of them kind of deserved it. Like when he found out Hottie was being a total gold digger on TV. But in the finale, he kept making fun of her free being dumb, but he's the one who believed it. You know, he's like, oh my god, Hottie, you're so dumb. Like, you thought, oh, you, you thought you could hide this from me. Sir, the only reason you saw it was probably because an MTV producer gave you that episode of, what was the show? Blind Date. He, he kept her after that chicken. He kept her after the chicken. I know my girl about Oyster. I know she was on it. But he does the same thing in season two. And we're not, we're not even getting in to the way he robbed New York, the way he brought her back reviews. Yeah, leave me a comment below. Is Flavor Flav the villain of Flavor of Love? Here is the end of day two. Tomorrow we're gonna do shadow work. I'm gonna make these two portions. These are a lot pinker. Maybe we'll map out some hair for the figurative work, but that is very ambitious, and I'm not gonna hold myself to things that I don't think can happen. Cause as long as there's more paint on the canvas than there was yesterday, I'm happy. I am so hopped up on Thai milk tea that I could fight God right now. And Flavor Flav. So we're gonna do what I do best, which is paint. If I'm gonna ruin my sleep cycle, I'm at least gonna get some art done and just wait for the sugar to crash. We'll see where it goes. Honestly, if I was a betting woman, I would say I get tired around here. 
Um, today's painting listening is um, Surviving Sister Wives because I hope you guys view me not only as an artist, but also as someone who is obsessed with reality TV, clearly. Is this working out for me? Are my plans working? Did I try something and it just worked? I'm suspicious. Please check back in a few seconds. Okay, final verdict on this pink shadow. Am I feeling it? Not really. Did I try something and it just worked? All right, the sugar crash has in fact happened. Let's review, shall we? I'm, I'm okay with the rest of this. But again, it's about progress, not always about perfection. Did I neglect this painting for three days because I was scared about doing the face? Yes! So much so that I actually started doing acrylic pores and sketching for other projects. I'm an artist, what can I say? I've sketched the face. I'm gonna use cheap Walmart gray because I'm not gonna lie, mixing gray is hard! I refuse to do it. We're gonna start it off with some real quick shadows on the tank top because it is white, so we're just- Um, and then after that I'll probably do some white. I guess this would probably qualify as an underpainting. This is pretty dark, but it's also really thin. I'm not gonna worry about it too, too much yet. Maybe when I do a layer of white. I'm gonna trust the process on this whole underpainting thing, guys. We're gonna go on a journey together. Can Megan do an underpainting? Honestly, the jury's out on that one. For the really light parts, I'm gonna do more of a wash. And again, this is the early 2000s, so it's not like the lighting budget was uh, was real big. I mean, it was still better than the final season of Game of Thrones, so. That was easy. I'm, am I gonna finish this painting in a timely manner? I almost just put my brush in my chocolate milk. Actually, no, I've washed my brush in chocolate milk before and I still drink the chocolate milk. Live and die for chocolate milk, guys. So I've decided I'm not gonna do pure white on the shirt. Here I mixed a little bit of unbleached titanium with just a little bit of white. And I kind of like it a little bit better because I think it allows for a lot more of a contrast. I just mixed my... I just put my palette knife in my gray. If something doesn't go wrong while I'm painting, it's not gonna be a good painting. If it's going wrong, it's fine. I need a brush. Where are my brushes? Oh my god. It's a mess. I'm such a terrible art YouTuber. All right, your thoughts and prayers are appreciated with this. Actually save them because I haven't mixed the skin tone yet. That's when I'm really gonna need them. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, ouch, I hit my tattoo. Ooh. Okay, so let's go ahead. It's white, we start blending this out. There's a hair in my palette. I do wanna blend a few of these places, just a teensy bit more. I don't mind the underpainting, but it is, it's a little rough in some places. We're gonna mix a gray. Truly my worst enemy is mixing grays. Actually, no, it's mixing grays. I've gotten semi-good at 
making skin tones, so I need a new worst enemy art. There's a brush hair in my baby. Oh my god. This is gonna ruin it, isn't it? Yep. God, why do I do this to myself? Never mind. You know how I said, like, oh my god, this painting's coming together. It's not. It never is. It never truly is. Sometimes things work and then they immediately fall apart. Is that the true artistic process? I feel like it is. I like that. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. For now. We live, we learn, and then we immediately doubt ourselves because we are artists. Oh my god, that looks really bad. Oh god. Oh no, I don't like that. Things are going downhill very quickly. What do I do now? Okay, through the sheer grace of blaring things until it eventually looked good, I finished up the top. Now, I gotta do either the face or the hair next. I'm not looking forward to it. Absolutely not, um, but it's got to get done. I don't know which one I'm gonna do first though. Honestly, I just feel like I need a nap right now. I do think I have the motivation enough to finish this by today. And by motivation, of course, I mean um, I sat and did nothing but watch Glee and play Animal Crossing yesterday. So I feel guilty about it. So now I can channel that guilt into productivity. I'm gonna do the hair. I've made the decision. Okay, so for the hair, I'm not gonna use black. Black flattens things. That's right, somebody went to art college. Um, I'm gonna try to use as little black as possible. I do have raw umber, burnt umber, and burnt sienna. This, I don't even know if I'm gonna use this, but I'm definitely gonna mostly use these colors. I will use a little bit of black. Yeah, I'm excited. I love doing hair. Now I have sketched the hair. Let's hope everything goes to plan. Um, so I'm once again running into an issue called... I probably shouldn't have used a image from early 2006 because the cameras weren't that great now. I'm, I'm trying to establish um, highlights and lowlights within the hair to create some dimension. And it's proving rather difficult. So... Word to the wise. Maybe find higher quality images. Unless you're like me and kind of hate yourself. In which case, go for it. You probably can't quite see them yet. They are probably gonna take a couple layers. But right now, I'm gonna do the highlights. Um, then after that, I will probably do the lowlights. I'll probably do the lowlights in black. Because uh, the hair is already pretty dark. But I'm definitely happy with choosing a burnt umber opposed to a pure black. I think finally I've ascended as a painter. Anyways, I'm gonna go layer about 300 layers of burnt umber. This was raw umber. I know, I know colors, I promise. All right, so here is the hair. We can see some dimension. Um, hopefully it's showing up on camera. Uh, oh, here we go, here we go. Here's a nice angle of it. Just like some subtle dimension. I, did, I didn't want to make it too detailed, but I'm very happy with the dimension. It does look a little bit better in real life, I promise. You can definitely see the contrast a little bit more IRL. Um, oh, ooh, here we go, yeah, there we go. There we go, just a nice subtle contrast. And then for some of the low lights here, I used, oh, here, let me find it. Um, this Artist Professional, which you can find at Michael's, but it's kind of like a less opaque black, so it really lets you blend well. But this is how it looks right now. I'm gonna go cry in the corner before I attempt to do the skin tone because skin tones are difficult. BRB. All right, it is not three days later. It is only about two hours later. I decided to reschedule my crying session for when I have to edit this. Um, I did read about four pages of fan fiction and pet my dog. So I'm ready to start the face. How well will this go? I don't know, especially because there is a little bit of a glare. I can't work with this like by my shoulders. So I'm gonna try to just like zoom in on the face. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. So we're gonna start with the skin tone. Um, Actually, I might even just start on the body. I'm not sure where I'm gonna start. I need to mix the skin tone first. I need a lot of this. Oh, this could be difficult. Okay, you know what? I probably should have cried. Yes, I just wiped that off because it was it was drying too dark. It looked fine on the palette. Ugh. It only took me three tries, but I finally got my colors. I'm going to start on this arm. This is the highlight 
kind of just loosely blended in. I just wanted to see if I liked it. But you can see here, my big mistake was using a lot more red than I did here. Because she does have a naturally warm complexion, but I think it just overdid it a little bit. I do kind of like this for a low light. Like a shadow. I think this would make it this is gonna make a good shadow. Anyways, but I like to do the body first, just in case I completely mess it up. Um, before I do the face, because that's what makes or breaks it. We're gonna we're gonna try this out. What's the worst that can happen? I can cry. But been there done that. Alright, something here is it working. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my old tried and true method, which is called adding satin glazing liquid until everything feels good again. Okay, we're good, we're fine. Um, it's it's starting to work. I am hungry though. So this might all change after I eat. I'm gonna put my palette in the freezer and then I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna see how this dries. Hopefully the power of satin glazing medium and the calming voice of SZA will get me through this. Hello, welcome back to Megan has forgotten how many days that I've been working on this painting for. So I'm currently waiting for my colors to thaw out. However, I did want to show you guys this. I got some new paint, I know. Um, so this is Golden Brand. I got it for 30% off. It's copper, so I'm actually going to use that for the side of the glasses. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I wasn't even filming that. Oh my god, look at this. That is one swipe. That is one swipe. I barely even touched it. Oh my god. All right, so we are back with the skin tone. I was just testing out to make sure everything is thawing out. It's okay, we're gonna stay, stay calm. We're gonna stay calm. Oh God, it's chunky. My camera card is full. However, I have finished the body. The body is here. I forgot I why I even started. Um, I mixed I mixed the skin tone correctly, again, first try. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are where we left off last, which was the face. I think I'm finally gonna finish this today. One, I actually feel motivated. Number two, it's only like three o'clock. I think my fatal mistake here was that. I, the shade here, I, the mid-tone I used was simply too dark. It's gotta be lighter. It didn't really matter so much on the neck just cause in my reference photo, um, you know, she's got the hair and also the lighting. So if it's a little darker there, that's fine. That way it's just shading. But for the face, it needs to be correct. Her face card needs to be accepted or else what was this for? Why spend like two weeks painting New York Tiffany Pollard if I don't get her face correct? We're gonna try again today. I have faith though. The only thing that I'm worried about is the glasses just because I've never painted glasses before. Well, I have painted some glasses, but you know, like in the early 2000s, they weren't very opaque. You know, they were like real thin. Like that was the look, you know, so I gotta replicate that somehow. I have mixed colors. They are significantly lighter than they were earlier. Will this work out? Probably no. I'm anticipating having to repaint this face at least two more times, but it's only... It's only four o'clock. I'm doing good on time, okay? a good painter. Also, I use satin glazing medium. I, I don't know if I showed that. My secret to art school is very simply.
hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of a better look okay listen normalize your painting looking kind of uggo before you finish it because it's getting there we've made progress okay so my camera like straight up died but i didn't want my paints to dry so as you can see we made a lot of progress and i just realized i forgot the necklace so i may have to paint that in Yes, we are really working these early 2000s pencil thin brows. And to think, my sixth grade teacher, Miss Giorgiotti, always said there is no point in young women learning how to do makeup. And here I am as an artist, constantly painting eyebrows. And honestly, I paint the best eyebrows. I paint great eyebrows. Wanna know why? Wanna know why? Because I've had a lot of practice. Miss Giorgiotti, okay, maybe some skills transfer. Did she not think the weird Twilight obsessed girl was gonna do something weird with her life? That's on her. So I have mixed some lip colors. I just used some Tempura Bright Magenta. This is a really pretty color. And then the, for the lighter shade, I used um, Light Portrait Pink. All right, as you can see, we are very much on our way with the glasses. Um, we're gonna see how it turns out. Um, I do still need to do the necklace. I'm gonna figure that out real quick and then we're gonna play around with this. Um, I did forget that I wasn't recording while I finished some things up. I made the lips a little bit glossier, a little bit more pigment here, trying to get a little bit better of a blend. So I kept tweaking, but not in the way that my auntie does, um, and I like it much better now. I've discovered what's missing here. I need more contrast right here before I can really be happy with it. Anyway, so I'm gonna add a little bit more contrast right here, just a bit, and then we're gonna varnish this today for sure. Big reveal time because I did spend, I don't know how many days, I completely lost count. I want to say a little over a week painting this. I really snapped, guys. I really snapped. Even my dad said my portraiture improved, which for a man with an Aquarius son, that's basically like a standing ovation. Ta-da! Hopefully, hopefully the glare isn't too bad. Anyways, if anybody wants prints or anything, hit my line because I love money. Anyways, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because if this video does well enough, I'm serious about painting that chicken that Hottie put in the microwave. It was a travesty, but it was also kind of iconic, and I think we can all agree on that. Anyways, you guys should also follow me on TikTok, M-U-G-H-N Mulder. You should also follow me on Twitter and Instagram under the same handle because she's a queen of branding. Uh. Will I see you next time? I don't know. I'm not going to make any promises. Follow me on stuff, and I will tell you. I will annoy you with my content. Similarly, how I annoy people with my art. Anyways, bye. Give it up, delicious. You look like a man.